Hi everyone, my name's Sam. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm here with Regan, who you may have seen on our social media and on our website, giving you guys some really great advice for wearing wigs with no hair. So hello to Regan. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. We have some questions from you guys on my phone and I'm just gonna ask Regan these questions and see what she has to say. So let's get into it. So first question, do you think the wigs are hot? Um, so I'm sometimes indifferent about this one when I get it because I'm like, I can't quite remember what it felt like to have normal hair, but I remember being sweaty and your normal hair gets greasy, obviously, so you have to wash it. And I don't have to wash my wig as often. So I'm like, am I still as hot as I was with normal hair? I think the answer is, Yes, but it's different. So with a bald head, personally, I'm a sweater. I know TMI, but. <laughs> As am I. <laughs> so I will sweat and I find if I don't wear a wig, my bald head is just sweating and it like drips down my back, which is disgusting, I know. So when I wear a wig, my wig actually kind of catches it and I don't even hey. notice I'm really sweating underneath of it until I take my wig off and I'm like, ooh, girl, you're kind of sweaty. Um, it probably just feels like you're wearing a baseball cap, but like on your head. <laughs> okay, I have heard that. Um, the girl you watch on YouTube, what yes. is her name? Uh, Chloe Bean. Yeah, she says it feels like a hat, like wigs are like hats sort of thing, but not exactly. They're yeah. nicer. They're not. <laughs> than a hat. Yes. It's, it's not similar. a hat on your head and hair. It's just one thing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so do you have to glue your wig every day? Um, personally, I don't. I know some people that makes some wig wears anxious because they're always thinking like somebody's mm. going to know like I have this wig on and it's a wig. But for me, I just... It's, I wouldn't even say it's lazy. Sometimes I'm just doing life so fast that I don't have time. Exactly. Or I'm just like, you know what? I can't be bothered. So I'll go to the grocery store, um, quickly grab something, or I'll go out maybe even for dinner and sometimes not glue it down or tape it down. That's um, good. They should make your life easier. Yes. So always say, like, you shouldn't have to sleep. Like, now right now, this one is not glued, mm -hmm. not taped and I don't think you can tell at all. So no. lots of times I just rip out the door, throw my wig on and I'm off. <laughs> and you wear no wig, which is amazing too. Yes. <laughs> that part. Okay, let me go to the next one. How many wigs do you have? A fun question. Um, I think I have seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually have most of my wigs are, I only have probably two really nice human hair ones. And then I have a human hair one that my friend actually gave to me because she wore wigs yeah. and uh, she gave it to me for free, which was awesome. And Love a free wig. <laughs> my brother bought me one randomly off some site. So it's not ideal, but sweet. like it's sweet and it works. And then my synthetic ones, I have a few from here. And then I have a few that I actually ordered before I lost my hair because I was, I'm going to be somebody different for a day. So I ordered synthetic wigs online so I could like rock them but obviously now I wear my um, really two nice human hairs that I got from here. <laughs> Yay that's amazing. Is there like a difference in how you feel in those wigs or? Um, yeah so when I'm wearing a human hair wig I just feel like it moves more like mm. when I'm moving it's moving it doesn't get tangled throughout the day as when I wear a synthetic, I feel like I only have it on for like 10, 15 minutes and I can tell that it's tangled. Other people don't know, like I've asked my friends, like if they can tell the difference. And they obviously are like, oh, your human hair looks nicer, but I wouldn't necessarily know that you're in a synthetic wig. Okay. And they don't really notice when it tangles. I think it's just like myself, obviously yeah. we judge ourselves a lot more than others outside, right? Fully, and it's how it feels too, because when it tangles, it feels more dry, I yes. feel like, and you're like. Yes, you feel it yourself, but I think there's a reason for both of them, like exactly. when to wear one and when to wear the other. For sure, and we will make a video about that actually, because that's a good point. When did you get your first wig? Um, so I got my first wig when I started losing my hair to alopecia totalis. But to be honest, I think I waited too long. I waited till I had like little to no hair. I think I had like maybe like a patch of hair here, a patch of hair here, and a little bit in the back. 
I I honestly feel like I looked, I don't know if you guys know uh, Smeagol off of Lord of the Rings, but how he has those few little hairs, I'm pretty sure that's what I looked no. like. Um, maybe not as bad, but that's what I see. And I was just like, I waited until then to get a wig, and I feel like it was not the best idea because this was on a Sunday, so nothing here in the Gold Coast was open. Um, there was one store, and I just went, and I just bought a wig, so I really ended up panic buying. So I and I kind of regret buying the wigs, obviously they're not cheap and I don't wear it as often as now I wear these ones from Lace Fronts Australia. So I feel like it's hard to accept that you're losing your hair. I think you think, I'm just going to wait because I'm probably not going to lose it all. I'm not going to need a wig. But obviously I was way past the point of where I was going to wear that anyways. Like I was just wearing baseball caps on my head. So I wish I actually started looking for a wig earlier as soon as my hair started going or as soon as I knew like it was gonna be completely gone just so that I didn't panic by and I had time to think through what I really wanted. Did you think like getting the wig in the end was like giving in to? Kind of, I feel like I was, yes. I was giving mm -hmm. in to the disease. I, was, I felt like I was letting it win in a sense, which is so stupid because you're not letting it win. It's not a choice you get to make. Like, mm -hmm. But I so feel common. like yeah. it's so <laughs> common that we try to do everything we can to prevent our hair to fall out so like i didn't brush my hair i showered less like all these crazy things that you think if you'll do will help you not lose your hair but it's an autoimmune disease so your hair's falling out no matter what you do so i think that's a big thing to know that you can't do anything for it and don't blame yourself because it's a disease and exactly. it's tough to accept that but i feel like that's why i just kept waiting because i was like i don't need a wig my hair's gonna be fine and it was yeah. like no girl you need a wig and then once you got it you felt like more confident and in control yes after yeah. actually getting the wig it felt it was crazy when i got the wig then i decided to shave my head completely bald i was like i'm not gonna wait for all my hairs to fall out i'm gonna do it myself and I think that's the biggest thing anyone can do. Obviously, it's a hard decision, but it felt like you were taking your confidence and your control back. Because I feel like you feel like you lose your control when it's obviously out of your control. And when you choose to take the rest of your hair off and then wear a wig, you're taking the control back. So you're telling your body, no, I'm making the decision. So it felt really good. And I felt like obviously I started going more places and stuff once I had a wig. So it wasn't as confident in my bald head. <laughs> yes, I love it. And then through that confidence, you had confidence in yourself to not wear a wig, like we said before. Yes. So yeah. I love that. That makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a good journey and it was an awesome place when I came here and met Sam for the first time picking my um, first human hair wig, I left and I just felt so good. And I was like, oh, why didn't I come here in the first place? I would have just like felt so much better about myself. I left knowing what I wanted and I left just, like obviously I left still crying because it's hard, but I left also so excited and happy mm. and looking forward to getting this wig. Is there anything you want people to know when they're buying the first wig? Uh, I think when you're buying your first wig, you need to know um, that there's different cap sizes and here at Lace Fronts, they'll fit you for that. So there's like small, medium, large, and it depends on the circumference of your head. So that was good to know because obviously the place I was at before, I literally just bought a wig off the shelf and put it on. So like it doesn't fit my head perfectly and it feels so much better when a wig can actually like sit on your head and fit back here mm -hmm. and in the front and it just like sits nicely. Yeah. So I think you need to know that and then you need to kind of know like what style you're looking for, if you want it short, if you want it long. Yes. Um, there's so many different colors, so knowing what you're coming in for in that sense. Um, yeah. And aftercare, like taking the time to research aftercare. We do have a lot of tutorials and things like that, so it's good to check those out because a lot of people do destroy their first human hair wig. Yes. It's really sad, but it's like you're learning and everything like that, and the wig just gets a little bit destroyed. Yeah. So following Regan's tutorials and advice and like whatever like maintenance tutorials we have, they're really helpful. Yeah, it's really important to know how to take care of your wig once you leave with it, because you're so excited, and then you're like standing there and you're like, Mm, is this like normal hair? What do I do? How do I brush it? How do I yes. clean it? And the more you do that well, and then it will last longer for you, yes. obviously. And like Sam was saying, Lace Fronts Australia has all the tutorials. So if you watch those ahead of time, it's a really good idea. Yes, a lot of people come in like, okay, I've watched all the videos. Like, yes. So that's good, we love that. <laughs> Better than me, who was oblivious and had to watch them after. <laughs> sometimes you're in an emotional state. You're yes. not thinking like, oh, I want to 
just like, I don't care, I just want to sort it out. But yeah, that's our little bit of advice. That was so great. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make it a regular thing, I think. Yep. So if, keen. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, please submit them in the comments or let us know. And then we will answer them all for you. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.